Okay, so uh, next thing we will do here is to um, drive the car. And we'll do, use those features. So if we have a look at the the uh, joystick or gamepad at the lower right uh, left here, we see that when I turn the, the joystick to the left and right, I also turn the wheels. And if I push the forward, it will drive. And uh, I'll just hit the reverse and then I get the ABS brake and I hit reverse again. I push forward and I brake that. And then I can do some burnouts by pushing the, the right lever like so. Right. And then I can uh, do some skidding by pushing the the lower left the so it's skiddy out there because it's a desert. <clears throat> so when I come in for a spin here and it's all too fast, I, I never have the chance to break. Then I introduce the workflow here, which is to back up to a point where I was secure over here, say and continue from there. <clears throat> By doing so, I, I can repeat my mistakes over and over again. And right now I can hit undo here and go back to the exact same position I was last time and hit record. And while I'm driving, I will also hit control Z so that it creates an undo uh, effect while I'm driving because right now I missed it okay then I hit control Z here and it will do the same thing again if I have yeah so like that yeah and I hit control Z again until I get it right again Someday today I will get it. So almost. And then I'm quite satisfied with that one. So I just don't back up the whole way here. I just back up to this point in time. Continue from here that exactly so now I'm satisfied with this ride and I hit stop that and uh, what I do now is to when my my customer comes back here he says well I think the suspension should be much much looser what do I do then well I don't want to recall the whole thing again this was my perfect ride so I changed the physics and or the behavior of the whole rig here but not the path it's uh, driving by rewinding it and opening up the configuration dialog and uh, I go down to the suspension because that was what the customer was complaining about and I divided by one t to one tenth which is very very bad suspension uh, and I hit Sim simply hit re-simulate and this changes the whole behavior of the car uh, when it comes to the suspension because that was what I changed and the path will be basically the same so let's see that yeah I'm turning 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 yeah well okay let's go to the to the end part here like that so let's just see what the suspension looks like now. Yeah, see, it's almost at the same position, not exactly, but the suspension is really, it's more like a rocky boat or something. And uh, the next thing I will show is the autonomous mode.